Hello again. Now I'm going to try to make um, some of the greens. I've gone and made the yellow and the yellow orange and the orange, um, which means I went two directions at once, but don't worry about that. Now I'm going to make um, some green. So follow along with me. It'd be fine if you wanted to get out your paint at the very same time, in fact. Um, hold on, here we go. Okay, you're familiar with this spot. I'm going to kind of tone this over here so I have more uh, open area of paper because I want to kind of fill in here. And I think you can't see my blue, right? No, you cannot see my blue. Hold on a minute here. Okay, I think I'm uh, ready now. This one is the more green or um, warmer blue called, they're calling it cyan right there. And this one is the cobalt blue, which is, oh, cobalt almost always looks kind of like a sky blue. And this is the one that is um, warmer, that so would be good for making like a purple or a violet. And I want the same, I think I want the, I think I want this time the lemon yellow, because I'm going to try to make the um, yellow green and the green right now. So let's see about yellow green. So I've got the um, lemony yellow here, and I still have some over there, which I should have moved over here, but whatever. It's not too important. Um, I'm trying to get the cap back on. That's what's taking so long. It's kind of cross-threading. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's try it with both, because who knows? Who knows? I would expect this one that's slightly greener to make a better green, but who knows? So let's see. That is pretty green. That's, I think, not yellow green enough, right? That's just green green. Let's try, though, the other one also. Clean off my um, palette. I mean, not my palette knife. Okay, let's try making it now with this and a little bit of the uh, cooler. Way too much. Oh, uh, yeah, and see, you see how that one looks a little dirtier? It doesn't look as clear as that. And just to demonstrate that a little more thoroughly, I'm going to put it on the um, paper so you can see what I'm talking about. See, that is that green. It actually looks more like the greens of nature, right? I mean, there are so many greens out there in, in, the, in the, the world of growing plants. Um, they don't usually look as saturated, the ones that grow, <laughs> as, as this kind of Kelly green that, that I've made over here. So let's put that one too. And I've made them way too thin. Sorry about that. But see how that one is just way um, kind of brighter? That's probably going to be the green green, I think, at this point. But if that's the green green, what about the yellow green? Okay, let's mix it up. So I do like the cooler one. I like the cyan and the lemon yellow for this project. And I'm going to put a bunch of the yellow on it this time because I really want it to look more yellow than green. And look at that, it just ate up my yellow. Bummer, bummer, I need more yellow, more yellow. Now, what I'm doing here is um, not demonstrating the good habits you want to have, which is to say that if you want to make a color that is more yellow, you don't want to just take all that and glob it into this green because you're just going to get a big pile of, of green that isn't what you want. What you want to do is kind of like take a fair amount of yellow and a little bit of this until you get it how you want it. And you could add more, right, of either color. But if I take all of those two piles and mix them all together, I'm stuck with whatever I've got. And then I've got a lot of paint. Oh, and this is totally looking right. Do you see what I'm talking about there? That's the right color. That is going to be nice. This is gonna be a beautiful yellow green. Um, let's put it right here. Oh, I've got it too thin and I didn't make enough of it. Classic. So when you're when this is happening to you, when you don't have the right uh, consistency and you don't have enough of it, you will know that that is what happens even to people who've done it many times. So don't be worried. Okay, that 
is whoa, my paper's moving around too much. I really want to make a little bit more. <gasps> there we go. A little more. Just a little more. Now I'm talking to you as someone who has made just 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 cups and cups of of ugly colors that ended up not being useful. Band-aid pinks, weird gray greens, you know, like an army fatigue color. But that's what you have to do to get anywhere in color mixing. You're going to have to make, no, see that, it's too dark. You're going to have to get um, some colors that you don't like. And that's okay. You can make some bad ones. Don't give up. Okay. You can use the bad ones too. Just don't, just don't, um, you can be like underneath the good ones. I don't know. Do you think that's too green? We'll find out. We'll leave it for now. We'll let it dry. We'll cut it out and we'll put it in between. Let's go back now to making a, uh, a really Kelly green like that one kind of looks. And I think I don't need to do much with that. I kind of think that's got a little blue there. I kind of think I can just go with that one. Let's see. Okay. Let's try it. More water. I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> that was so funny. One day um, in color class, someone who had a very high um, personal level of craftsmanship went and made a really beautiful um, color assignment. And she was walking to class with it and it had rained a ton and it dropped in the mud. And she was so upset because she got there and it was sort of, you know, damaged, let's say. But it was fine with me because I knew that <laughs> it didn't make sense to redo it. Let's just say that. Okay. Uh, it's like a little bit. See how I'm getting like a lot of paper showing through? You probably can't see that. Don't worry. Since we, This is the other thing. All of that craftsmanship is kind of like, it's only as good as your computer monitor is. So who knows? Anyway, let's call that a decent green, although I might like it a little darker. I may change my mind later. Okay. Next, I'm going to make blue green. And ideally, I would want to use this very same green that I've run out of here um, and then add a little blue to it, right? Because it's supposed to be sort of right in between. So probably what I'm going to need to do, oh, that's actually not bad. I'm kind of just lucking into it. That might be my color right there. Let's see if it is. And no, it's too green, isn't it? Yeah, that's too green. That looks like a medium green. Let's make a whole swatch of it, but let's probably not use it. It may turn out that that's what I want for my G, for my green spot on my um, color wheel, but it might not. Let's just leave that for there, for that one. Yeah, see, that's looking too light now that I see that. Well, onward. Okay, I'm going to need more of this. Fair amount more, it looks like. And it's another thing that um, more expensive paint, and I've talked about this before, has more pigment in it. And in some ways it goes further than um, the less expensive paint, right? Okay. That's looking more, a little more blue-green, but it's still a little green, isn't it? Now it's going to be too blue, but that's kind of what you have to do until you get it right. And it's fine not to start on the big square. It doesn't look very different, does it? Until you're sure you've got the um, color you like. Sorry to move that around so much. Oh, you can't even see it. Let me move it up. Good grief. I got to remember to look at the monitor now and then. That's looking not bad. I, I could almost live with that, I think. Okay. Now I am going to stop again so that these movies, these um, films aren't really, really long. Well, that first one's pretty long. And then we'll take on blue. So see you in a few minutes. <laughs>